It's wave speed business. You can always look it up on the formula sheet, but the way I remember it is that the entire wave pattern moves over one wavelength in one period. So if you took a, a snapshot of the wave at one instant and then you took a snapshot of it one period later, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, uh, assuming that uh, we're not at the start or the end of the wave, but somewhere in the middle of the wave. And uh, we also have uh, the period is the amount of time for one oscillation. You can think of it as the number of seconds per oscillation and the frequency is the reciprocal of that because it's the number of oscillations per second. So uh, if I make that uh, replacement, I'll put uh, well let's, uh, I think what I'll do is just rewrite that at first. That's the same thing as V is equal to lambda times 1 over T. And then this is pure substitution, where I'm actually uh, substituting uh, the fact that uh, this is equal to that into this expression. So V can always be expressed as just lambda times F. And in uh, this uh, problem, we're given lambda and we're given F. And it looks like this uh, tension in the string is irrelevant for our purposes. So uh, let's go ahead and substitute the values that they gave us. Um, I'm going to call this, this is uh, 0.2250 hertz, uh, kilohertz, plus or minus. I think that's what I want to do is write that out. Plus or minus. Now this is saying uh, I got the last two digits over here are uncertain, so it would be these two, changing everything else to zeros to get the uncertainty at 0 0.0035 kilohertz for F, or F is equal to, I'll multiply that uh, times 10 to the third through here, so that's uh, 225 Point zero plus or minus 3.5 hertz. And lambda is given as 0 0.1500. And then there's two digits of uncertainty. So that would be in these last two digits here, changing everything else. To get the uncertainty, I got plus or minus 0 0.0048 meters. So I could write that if I wanted to as 15 plus or minus a half a centimeter roughly. 15 centimeters plus or minus a half a centimeter. And uh, let's go ahead and substitute the values in there to get V. Uh, that'll be, I think I'll uh, write that down a little bit lower. V equals Point one five zero zero meters times the frequency of two twenty five hertz is one over seconds, which is to uh, write it that way. to do is uh, evaluate that. So I got 0.15 times 225 equals 33.75 meters per second. Um, more sig figs well, we'll see how many sig figs I need. We'll, we're we're going to do the full-blown error analysis for this one. So we've got to uh, evaluate this expression right here using Gaussian P with uh, this frequency and this wavelength. I'll uh, circle those so I can find them easily. So let's uh, see if we can find Gaussian P there. 
open up the browser, and type in uh, CB Physics. First item, first semester downloads, math resources, scroll down a little bit, Gal CP, open, double click, open and uh, make that fill up our screen. So what do we got? Uh, I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. Get rid of that. Get rid of that so I can see what's going on here. Okay, we've only got two variables. Um, I guess I should change the name first. And I'm going to change that to 2. Hit return. Uh, double click on this. This is uh, velocity. Our first item is velocity. Uh, hit return. V, return. The second one, double click on that. I'm using V is equal to lambda F, so I'll call it lambda, uh, lowercase, lambda, return, lambda, return. Uh, the value of lambda is 0.15, and the error, let's type in 0.15, return. The uncertainty is 0.0048. Uh, with uh, lambda in meters. And then uh, change this one to an F for frequency. Hit return. F return. And then uh, looking down here is 225. 225 return. And 3.5 for the uncertainty. 3.5 for the uncertainty. I'm going to go back over here to the start. i got to type in uh, the formula. It says lambda times f, so all I really have to do is take away this uh, last part because that's what I got now, lambda times f. Hit return. Okay, then I just have to, uh, let me uh, see if we're in the right ballpark, 33.75, 33.75. So, uh, yeah, we're getting the same answer. So, uh, I'll do a control C on this one to copy it to the clipboard. Click on A7 and then use the scroll bar to go all the way down to the last item here, 106. Click on that and uh, do uh, control V. So I've got it all uh, copied in there. And uh, now all I have to do is hit F9. Make this a little bit larger. And it's coming out around 33. So I'm getting all thousand values and 33.77. Make sure that's, yeah, close to that one. And I'm getting uh, 1.24 for the area, uh, the error, probably 1.2. Let's see how it changes if I hit F9. Yeah, 1.22. So I call it 1.2. Still rounds to 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 
to evaluate V equals lambda F with these two values, or sets of values, we get V is equal to 33.8 plus or minus 1.2 meters per second. Now, it's not okay to write that as 33.8 plus or minus 1.2 meters per second, but it would be okay if I stuck in an extra meters per second there just for uh, notation purposes, but I like to write it this way, so I only have to write the meters per second once.